Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the brand new content mode inside of Wix. Now, what is content mode? Content mode is a very limited editor that you can give access to clients for so that they can edit the content on your website without actually editing the design. For example, I've created this very nice design here in Wix Studio. And inside the editor, it's very intricate, right? And if our clients have access to the full editor, maybe they would want to change a couple things. Like maybe they want to move this image to be right here, but then they accidentally attach it to the stack and they accidentally remove it from the original container that it was in, which had a really cool effect on it. We don't want them to accidentally do that, especially because they'll either do it and not notice it and they might mess up the entire website or they'll mess it up and they'll be frantically reaching out to you to go and fix it because they either know they messed it up or they might even blame you for messing it up. So content mode is gonna be a fantastic way to completely prevent that. Now to get to content mode, here we are in the dashboard of the website and I'm just gonna press this little drop down and enter content mode. Once that opens up, this is what we are going to see. It's gonna be a very limited editor. As you can see, we don't have the left bar over here so they're not able to access the ad panel or add pages or do any of those different things. And we don't even have the same inspector panel that we would typically be used to inside of the full editor. But the way content mode works is when the client clicks on a section, they'll be able to change a few things. For example, they can change text, even text max, they can change the background image or video. And if they go into the settings, they can change what the text mask says. And then they can change images, and they can even link the images to different things. And if they move on to the next section, for example, we have a flex box in this one, so they can actually change the content inside of the flex box, but without actually changing the design or messing up the design. Now I will say, if you only want your clients to have access to content mode and not full mode, what you can do is come over down to settings, go to roles and permissions, and you can press manage roles. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a brand new role, and I'm gonna call this one client content mode. And and I'm gonna say that the description for this is it gives client access to content mode. And what I'm gonna do is go over to editor and I'm gonna press edit content. Then in their studio editor, I'm gonna say they can view the site, add comments to the site, and we're gonna allow them to edit content. We don't want them to edit the site structure, which is add pages, global sections, elements, and dynamic content. We don't want them to edit the layout and design. We maybe don't even want them to edit the code, but then you can go through all of these other things and kind of check if they want them to have access to their different things. Now, obviously they are gonna need access to the dashboard, so we'll allow them to have that. But again, you can go, go through the rest of these and add the, the different permissions that you want your client to have, and then you can go ahead and press save. Once you have this client content mode custom role, what we can do is invite people to it. So then you can add your clients to this role here. And once they accept that invitation, then once they're on the homepage in the dashboard, they should not have the option to edit the site. They should only see the option for content mode. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. I wanna give a special shout out to all the channel members. I really do appreciate you. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you on the next one.